Buenos días, queridos alumnos de CELA Spanish School Online. This is video number three of the series of videos of the online course on the imperative. In this video, we will explain the conjugation of some verbs that are irregular because of pronunciation and spelling. If this is the first video you have found, I ask you to first watch video one and video two. These videos are also completely in Spanish. I recommend watching the videos in Spanish as well. Please excuse my bad English. I do not usually use English in my classes, but my students think that it's very useful to have the information also explained in English. So I will make an effort. Let's start with our today's class. Let's see the conjugation of verbs like explicar. In the imperative, explicar is conjugated in the following way. Explicar, to explain. Tú explica. Tú no expliques. Usted explique. Nosotros expliquemos. Vosotros explicad. Vosotros no expliquéis, ustedes expliquen. As you will remember, the persons tú and vosotros change in the negative imperative. We will deal with this topic in detail in video 4. When speaking of letters and sounds, I will use the pronunciation in Spanish and not English. In Spanish, the combinations of sounds CA, CO, CU sound K, CO, Q. CE and CI sound C, C. To have the sounds K and K, we use Q, U, E and Q, U, E. So, when you hear K and K, it will always be with Q, U, E and Q, U, E, like in explique. If the letter C were kept in the conjugation and coincides with E, we should read explice instead of explique. The pronunciation prevails in the whole conjugation and the sound K is written with Q -u -e in Spanish. All the verbs that end in car are going to have this irregularity. Other verbs of this group are buscar, to search, tocar, to touch or to play an instrument, practicar, to practice, sacar, to take out. For the examples and exercises of the online course, I have chosen verbs that are frequently used in the imperative. Let's see now the conjugation of the verbs recoger and llegar. Recoger, to pick up. Tú recoge, tú no recojas. Usted recoja. Nosotros recojamos, vosotros recoged, vosotros no recojáis, ustedes recojan. Llegar, to arrive. Tú llega, tú no llegues. Usted llegue. Nosotros lleguemos. Vosotros llegad, vosotros no lleguéis. Ustedes lleguen. The irregularity of these verbs are explained in the pronunciation rules of Spanish. 
the combinations of sounds G A G O G U sound ga go gu G E and G I sound G HI To get the sounds G and G we write a U that is not pronounced when the G is in combination with E and E like in guerra, guitarra, llegue. The combinations JA, JE, JI, JO, JU sounds HA, HE, HI, HO, HU. The combinations JE and JI are rare. GE -E and GE -E are more common. The pronunciation is maintained in the conjugation of a verb and determines the spelling. If recoja was written with G, we would have to read recoga. And if yeges is written without the U, we would read yege. Other verbs in this group are, for example, apagar, to turn off, dirigir, to direct, entregar, to deliver. To explain the regularity of the verbs that end in SAR, Z-A-R, I must first tell you that the explanation has to do with the pronunciation of Spanish in Spain. One of the characteristics of Spanish in Spain is the pronunciation of Z and C, as in cine or zapato, almost similar to TH in English. In American Spanish we pronounce these sounds as S. In the case of verbs that end in SAR, we have the following conjugation. My pronunciation is from Venezuela, so I will pronounce S. Organizar. Tú organiza, tú no organices. Usted organice, nosotros organicemos. Vosotros organizad, vosotros no organicéis, ustedes organicen. The irregularity is explained by the pronunciation of Z and CE and CI in Spain. As the combinations Z E and Z I are rare in Spanish, the sound is represented by CE -E and CE. -E. Other verbs in this group are empezar, to begin, adelgazar, to lose weight, rezar, to pray. And finally, we are going to explain what happens with verbs like construir, to build. Tú construye, tú no construyas. Usted construya. Nosotros construyamos. Vosotros construid, vosotros no construyáis. Ustedes construyan. When the E is between two vowels, it becomes Y. Other verbs in this group are huir, to run away, destruir, to destroy. I hope it has been a little clearer what are the irregular verbs and especially why they are irregular. 
Everything in the grammar has a logical explanation. If we know why some verbs are irregular and we practice them enough, we will not have to memorize anything. In the written material of the course, we have exercises with solutions and exercises with teachers' feedback to practice what has been explained so far. The information about the complete course is on our website. You can also write to us. I invite you to watch the video number 4 in which we will explain the change that occurs when the imperative is negative.